Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Hasim Tarot. Um, this is going to be for Scorpios, no contact read. This is all general readings, you guys, not personal ones. So if it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. Take what resonates and throw out the rest. Scorpio. Now, I don't know who the comment was, like which video it was on, but Someone commented down below why I laugh a lot, and I feel like I've addressed this in my videos before, but I am pulling from light energy, so, um, you know, when it comes to light energy, they, the angels doesn't take things as serious as we do. We're in the physical body, so my angel guides laugh, laugh a lot. It transferred to me in my energy, so I've been doing this since I've been on YouTube. So if I don't resonate with you or anything like that, please, you know, find someone else, no biggie, because people do pull from other sources, but I pull from light energy, which is the divine God, the angel guides, my ancestors, and they're all in the, the spiritual realm where everything is just fun and free and laughable. You know they're not looking at this as we are i mean they can feel when we're sad but they don't hold on to grudges like we do so when i am pulling cards and i'm laughing it's i don't even know when i'm doing it it just comes through i accept it because this is how my angel guides have guide me and they're sh making me feel how they feel so yeah i hope that explains things um but there's other you know readers on here that you know if you are someone that is very serious at times and that's all you blend into you know find someone that resonates with you you know i am not that dark energy i'm very bubbly i'm very free i'm very i laugh at my own situations and so it's going to come off like that when i'm reading cards as well okay but anyway <laughs> let's get into it this is a no contact read um scorpio the person that you're thinking about the person that's thinking about you clearly this person has shown their face right soon as possible okay so this is your energy here so far i'm just seeing there's a lot of conflicts here okay and then you know those five of swords this five of wands energy is like giving me an energy like it's constantly a conflict with you and this person that's coming through um i don't feel like right now i'm seeing like resolving the energy but this is how you're viewing things like this is just constantly you know back and forth bickering arguments it's like you know it's just so many people coming in having their two cents about the situation it's just getting worse and worse and worse and you just can't see a way out right now some of you might feel like you know what the best thing to do is like walk away from this situation i'm also seeing angel Raphael coming in and saying hey this needs time this needs healing and i'm just here to release all of the control issues that is presented with this as well because the temperance is in reverse where you're trying to control your path your destiny and it's more about that you need to trust the process of the divine god you need to trust the process of your angel guides you need to trust and release and relax <laughs> this is what i'm getting so i'm also seeing the devil here in reverse okay capricorn energy for those of you who are dealing with a capricorn major arcana we also have sag here within the temperance as well if that resonates with you, that is a confirmation. We have a few, oh, uh, major arcanas. We also have Cancer and the High Priestess. That's coming through here. We have the Ace of Cups energy in reverse. And then you have Leo energy, major arcana within the strength. So you have Angel Raphael plus Angel Michael in your first watch. Wow. Um, telling you to have strength and to have courage. I feel like you are burnt out at this time because you've been dealing with a lot with the five of sword the, i keep saying swords but it's the five of wands energy you just keep dealing with a lot of competitions here a lot of debates and you're tired and you're just drained 
and it's like not getting better so i feel like angel michael is appearing to remind you to have courage and to have strength and to be strong because it's this is a constant vibration if it's not this person is going to be something else because this is a five adversity something that you have signed up for for your soul involvement for you to experience for you to become stronger and you know wiser to help other people so it's not even about you as on a soul level it's about the collective as a soul level but right now in the physical body you feel like it's about me it's about me it's about what i'm dealing with and it's not so about that but i feel like a lot of you definitely need to heal as well because you have the temperance here that talks about healing as well and talk about trust self um your self-confidence might be shut because this is in reverse it says everything seems to be unbalanced within your life at this point and i feel like this energy is a form of a constant vibration that you're feeling because it's also talking about self-healing and addiction like there's some form of healing addiction with this with yourself um when it comes to healing so i feel like you've been trying to do this for quite a while try to get at this place of positivity and really trusting in yourself but you're having a hard time this is what i'm seeing here so let's just continue and see what this is wow so you have the tower here the seven of wands energy you also have the star in aquarius let's see we need two more okay so you have aries and scorpio within the tower um so you're saying like this breakup happened very suddenly because but i feel like this breakup didn't happen very suddenly because you have the conflicts here you're constantly bickering and fighting um and then you're saying that it happened very suddenly like you didn't see this coming and i feel like this relationship was t attacked on both levels inside and out meaning that you and this person was sabotaging this connection but at the same time you were being attacked by other people as well on the outside so this foundation really didn't have a chance you know um this is what i'm getting <coughs> didn't have a chance to really survive and you're saying it happened very suddenly but this doesn't add up here i'm also seeing the seven of wands where this person was hiding things from you okay and i feel like this person is still in some form of control okay a lot of you could be dealing with a leo too like a leo moon but this is aries and scorpio in the tower a lot of masculine energy trying to control each other and then i am seeing the star in aquarius where the universe is going to present some kind of opportunity for you and this person to work something out here because there is a message or a mission that is quite important okay and the star the universe is lining up those stars okay to get you guys back to where you need to be this might just be very organic the way this is going to feel like everything is going to fall into place and i'm seeing like being able to move forward within the three of cups energy and i'm also seeing the eight of pentacles in reverse and the nine of pentacles in reverse so despite moving on i'm just seeing a lot of fallout or failure because of one thing it's like this person decides to come back into your life without change and this really is a saying like this person is going to come back in with all the same you know attitude situation nothing have changed and i feel like you're already feeling the pressure of losing yourself losing your identity losing your power losing your money losing your independence right and it's like this is going to be a loss in this energy i'm not seeing like this person is coming in to make you better this person is coming in to make you worse worse than you feel right now hmm so tell me mo okay let's see. One more. 
So you have the three, no, the six of pentacles, the ace of swords, which is wonderful. I love seeing the Holy Spirit, you know, come through a lot of divine love and help here. I'm also seeing a lot of positivity within the magician. And I'm also seeing the ace of the page of wands energy, which is really good as well. We have the three of pentacles and then the last card is the sun in reverse. So this is crazy because you have the sun in reverse where you're just unhappy. Um, like your light has been taken away from you as well. Um, you just feel a lot of sadness here, a lot of depression within the sun. Like you just haven't gotten anything that you wanted to achieve in your life. But I feel like this is also about you being you're helping other people to the point that you forgot to help yourself because it comes back to self-love and self-awareness with the temperance being here it's like you're supposed to be nurturing each other within the temperance and instead someone is taking more and someone is doing less or someone is doing more and then someone is doing less when it comes to this relationship i do feel like you guys learned a lot from each other this is what i'm getting with the three of pentacles and this person looks up to you and there is really just this um important message and mission again i'm bringing up that mission but it's something here that is totally important for you and this person to actually experience and i'm also seeing the holy spirit giving you a new form of warrior idea to get through this okay and supply to this relationship and there's a lot of positive vibration a lot of breakthrough spiritual breakthrough that is coming in to help and assist and i feel like it's not going to be the same way again you know it's not going to be the same way again i'm also seeing balance coming back into this but the question is why are you so unhappy if all of these good things are appearing for you within this no contact energy it's like you're receiving everything that you ever wanted yes there was some kind of you know addiction situation that occurred as well within the devil's energy this person is not perfect at all there's other people that are coming in and acting like they have some kind of power over this and you're constantly you know trying to fight that competition energy that keeps like trying to take your place or whatever the situation might be but it's like it's unending this is what i'm seeing here but i feel like the holy spirit is like well in time this will be okay in time everything will be okay all right so let's see what the message is when it comes to the love connection for you and this person on your end. I mean, this situation has potential. Um, this is what I'm getting. But of course you have your things. I'm also seeing manifestation prayer on your part because it's like a lot of you are definitely trying to heal and tap into self-love and self-awareness and get what you want by changing the form of your thinking you know the way that you think and then you have the holy spirit here to assist it's like everything that you have said um to the holy spirit has they have heard you and this has been approved because i'm seeing like they're saying like everything you need is always been with you it's like you're the one to it's like you're asking for things but you always had the power to release on your own by this controlling your thoughts which is so powerful so tell me more so we have it is safe for you to love i feel like the angels are saying hey you are lovable and you deserve love you know it says you're it's safe for you to love um on the card what does it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all which is what l-o-v-e <laughs> love love honey l-o-v-e is the most important thing i always tell you guys the collective is so much more important than anything else when it comes to the divine no one is better than anyone no matter what you do and don't come for me on that go to the, the, the source and ask why that is okay 
healing family issues so there's things that needs to be healed here talked about let go <laughs> what am i seeing the ten of swords here like there's a lot of things from the past that you're trying to forget and it's also affecting your relationship too without you knowing um getting to know each other and this person put that or throw that in your face so i'm seeing like getting to know each other again starting over this is what i'm seeing here i'm also seeing financial and career this is a problem like i've been getting this energy with a lot of cards that i'm pulling today and i'm also seeing stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance it's like wow just like we talked about with the thoughts in the mind how it's a powerful weapon <laughs> even doctors can't explain the mind they just have whatever information they were given <laughs> by source you know they can't they don't know how the mind works really so um then you have wedding here or this says this situation involves marriage so you could be married to this person or this person could already be taken all right um so let me just clarify a little bit um to see what's happening because i don't feel like i got much from you you know <laughs> you might feel like you got a lot but i don't feel like i got a lot from you so let's clarify these cards in reverse and see what we have here the first card is going to be the temperance Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's the energy when it comes to the temperance for Scorpios? Temperance for Scorpios. All right, so you have the magician in reverse. The magician in reverse. <laughs> It's crazy because the magician is in the upright right here. Um, but I feel like someone, like these five of wands, these people, the adversity that you're facing, the competition that constantly happens and, and go on, they are definitely wanting negative force to come towards your way. And I feel like this is why Angel Raphael is here because... These people affected you in a way where they brought a lot of negative vibrations within your life. But I'm also feeling like, like Angel Raphael is there to protect you as well. Some of you are definitely being attacked because of this person. Because I'm seeing like Angel Raphael protecting you because of emotional loss, okay? And definitely protecting you because of a love situation because angel raphael is about love and self-love and self-healing and just self-expression and i'm seeing like he's trying to protect that and he's trying to tell you to focus on yourself right now and to also choose yourself within this energy within this space um because there's a lot of people that are constantly trying to you know diminish your blessings and make you think that you cannot manifest what you want in the things that you want in life you don't deserve it like they're really trying to to keep you stuck this is what i'm seeing tell me about the devil energy because there's a capricorn energy here or someone that's dealing with you know family issues depression drugs sex addiction um poverty you know this person has been dealing with a lot and i feel like this person is trying to get out of that toxic vibration okay so but this is the same person that could have put all of these negative force of energy within your life due to jealousy okay i'm seeing jealousy here so tell me about the capricorn so there's a lot of trials and tribulations with this person I feel like a lot of you let this person go within the Ten of Wands in reverse. Like you let this person go because you felt isolated or you felt like you were doing things on your own. Tell me about this High Priestess in reverse. High Priestess is the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're not talking to this person um, because you don't trust this person. 
your intuition is all over the place in cancer so a lot of you are trying to find out the truth on your own because you're really just done with the crap the bull crap you want balance but you feel like balance is so far away but <laughs> remember we saw balance here within the six of pentacles so you are going to receive the balance the holy spirit is also coming in within this situation and getting involved here within the ace of swords i'm seeing the magician i'm seeing the the, the new idea the new perspective the new direction that is coming into your life i'm seeing that you're going to be working together but i just feel like this is not making you happy so give me clarification within the sun Ooh okay we have two so you have the queen of cups and then you have the messages that are moving very slowly towards you you want security this is what i'm seeing like you feel like there is no security like the security right now is moving very slowly towards you and also the security that you're looking for is answers this is what i'm seeing all right like you want answers from this person tell me about this ace of cups energy for scorpio wow so you ended this or you cut your heart off because well cut your heart off cut the emotions cut the relationship off because there was a lot of unbalanced situation here within the six of pentacles again you doing more and this person doing less okay tell me about the the strength card which is also leo energy leo within the strength leo within the sun so Leo is coming up with a double whammy here. So tell me about the strength in reverse. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like within this energy, you feel exhausted within this energy. Angel Michael is trying to remind you to be strong and to have courage and to keep going and to be brave to confront this situation. And I feel like you are. <laughs> Because you're giving me this energy within Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, it's just crazy how... I love this deck because it has, you know, a lot of signs here that can tell you exactly what this who rules this card. I always thought it was Capricorn, but it also says Sag here. So interesting, interesting. Um, so it's a lot to learn. <laughs> I'm always learning and I love that. Um, because if something becomes boring, it's like, oh god try something else but um i'm seeing capricorn here and for those of you who are dealing with that particular energy that's your confirmation but i feel like you are going to do what angel michael wants you to do you're you might not notice it but your spirit knows exactly what's going on and i'm seeing like you're opening up here to give this person security stability if this is necessary okay you are not at i mean some of the queens are in reverse but that's because you know what you're just not entertaining any conversations right now because you feel like this person is not ready to have a real conversation because you don't need the truth from this person you already have it from your your divine god the ace of swords is here the truth is going to be out no matter how hard this person tries to keep it hidden tries to keep it hidden okay it's going to be out and about tell me about this eight of pentacles the 11 11 being in reverse the four of wands um i'm just seeing the conflict here like you guys have a conflict this is your home some of you your marriage um it's just not at a fulfilling place right now a lot of you are feeling like the 11 11 might be off and that's crazy because that falls right under the six of uh pentacles which is also talking about balance and seems off right so you feel like this relationship feels very off tell me about the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles oh wow wow you lost everything but i'm seeing that you're going to gain everything back the holy spirit is giving this back to you this is new money um, a lot of you could have lost a job or your position within the nine of pentacles um, or your rank but something is going to happen where you're going to be receiving everything else you're going to be receiving this so it's not going to even affect your home or your money you might be a little worried at first this is what i'm seeing from from the nine of pentacles in reverse 
and then suddenly you have this huge thing that has happened you know that came over you um take, came over your life and i'm seeing like this abundance it's a new abundance coming into your life new money so this could be a new job a new position oh i'm not gonna take it so let's see tell me about well we already did that oh you know what i'm just gonna ask for more oh my okay wow look at that the nine of pentacles be careful because you have the nine of pentacles here in reverse and then you have money like the angels are trying to save you from whatever this is and then you know more energy comes out with the nine of pentacles in reverse again like why why be careful how who you give your money to who you share your links with um it's like i'm just seeing that you're given someone the power after receiving all of this blessing you're giving your power away within this energy of the nine of pentacles like you're choosing for this person to be um the one that runs the money this is what i'm seeing like the one that takes care of the bills or the household but you're gonna lose the money you're gonna lose your independence that the Holy Spirit wants you because this could be something that worked out for you this is a lot of money okay that came in for you and I'm seeing like you're being really really I don't know codependent here like really codependent nine of pentacles in reverse losing everything that you have worked for again like you were struggling before the angel saved you out of this struggle and then you're going to give someone access like you know better so let's see what this is let's see what this is okay why is this coming up let's see lies <laughs> be careful of the lies you guys lies i i did a reading and i felt like i titled it lies lies and more lies well lies this person is a liar i'm also seeing like they have a rough lifestyle that they don't want you to know about something about partying or getting together with other people um but there is no party because i don't see anybody dancing here <laughs> but they're saying they're going out to a party or celebration but there is no party it says a wooden area i feel like a lot of you are lost in the sauce and you need to be careful because there's going to be a cycle it's like you're trying to get yourself out of this wooden area wooded area right you're trying to find out a way out but this is so dark and there's so much woods and trees that you can't see you know have you ever been in a space like this like i always saw this on tv like someone is just stuck in a wooden area and they just can't seem to find their way back to the road like there's just trees everywhere um and you feel lost you feel within this energy like you're just vulnerable like you're in danger and you just have to find cover right and try to make it through the night so when the sun comes up hopefully you can find yourself again or you can climb all the way on top of a tree to see where you are or how far you have traveled or far you you know got stuck in a situation how long you've been there okay so you're trying to find evidence in the high priestess in reverse this person that you're with is someone that definitely cleans up their track so it's going to be very hard to get them in a situation why am i keep seeing this i see this with gemini legal legal proceedings like you are taking this to court and this is a couple situation um you know i just every time i look at this i just feel like there's so many things hidden behind the couple like they look like they're at ease right now i'm not even going to say peace i'm going to say ease like everything is okay right 
but there's so much going on behind this couple like this person could have a gun to this couple this person's body like telling you know squeezing or trying to control this person on a physical level like you just have no idea what's going on behind the scenes and i feel like there is so much going on here i don't feel like this is a happy happy couple um there's so much behind the scenes between these two people and again that explains your son that's in reverse your happiness your blissfulness your joy <laughs> it's in reverse here you just a huge delay here you need to definitely take care of yourself and make a decision for you because i feel like right now your mind is cloudy like you can't make the decision within the sun but this is going to be a step back for you because you can't make that decision so tell me more wow i keep getting this to accomplice like this makes sense because obviously this person is not by themselves here within the five of wands energy there's a lot of competition here and i feel like there was you know something that was done to make you feel powerless as well it's like you're saying this is a crime partner in crime like that's what you're calling this person's friends or family members partners in crime and you feel like there's a huge regret here like you can't even show your face because you're so ashamed i'm also seeing fraud so be careful this is why this money situation is so crazy like the universe is saying like wow you've been through some hardships for a while and finally we gave you the money that you always wanted the opportunity to better yourself and here you are giving it over like turning it over to this person this could have been a husband or a wife for you like you're just you need to be smart this is what i'm seeing here like you're in love but you're playing you know crazy in love basically and this person is taking advantage of you within fraud taking out every money and i'm also seeing like some of you this person kind of ran away with your money you don't know where they are you don't have any proof because guess what you know you gave them access to your bank account or something like that you thought this person was a partner your wife your husband and they wouldn't even do this but <laughs> they are gone all right a lot of you are dealing with depression anxiety and stress and it's bringing suicidal thoughts to your mind all right a lot of you can't believe that you allowed this to happen again so this happened before this is what i'm seeing there's going to be a family meeting or friendships like friendships wants to meet with you talk with you they're concerned about your safety about your mindset um about your life some of you could have had businesses and the person stole from the business and ran away. Look at that. This is crazy. No, this person's on the run. Nobody knows where they are. They left at night. This is what I'm seeing because it's like sun is either like, like, you know, the sun is going down or the sun is coming up in this picture, but they're on the run. All right. And I feel like you have lost a lot. You have lost a lot. A lot of you are going to have to start over. It's like you're saying goodbye to something that you have built and babied and, and raised. A lot of you are trying to find a detective, someone to find this person and to watch this person. But I feel like this person is watching you. <laughs> this is something that they do all the time. This is what I'm seeing. Serial killer energy. I feel like they're going to come see you when they're ready. <laughs> using your card. <laughs> using your bank account. So. Uh, and. Of course you're going to get them all locked up. <laughs> it's like they're coming back to you. Using your card. Using your money. Oh uh, lord. Within the boat energy. This is a little cray cray. <laughs> All right, so let's just tap into this person's energy real quick and see what their situation is within this no contact read. Um, let us start from scratch, okay? From all of this, 
see what we can get from this person's point of view, or this person's side of things. Yeah, this person is watching you with the boat energy and also the, the, the serial killer energy. Like, they're looking at you from afar, though. <laughs> Sniper. Oh, my God. Whoever they're going to have to take out, they're going to take out. This person is giving me an energy as in, like, in it to win it, you know? Like, they're, they're, like, you think that you are ahead of them, but they're actually ahead of you. <coughs> kind of vibe. This is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> it's that Richard movie. I don't know if you watched the Richard movie with Tom Cruise. Like, I'm getting that vision of, like, they're like, who is, I think his name is Jack Richard. And they're like, who's Jack Richer? How do you get in touch with them, him? And they're like, well, you have to, you know, you can't find Jack Richard. Jack Richard is going to find you. And he walks through the door and they're like shocked. Like, you know, he's there to like meet one of, you know, their clients or whatever, the person that was in jail. And they're like, what? Like, <laughs> it's like this person is ahead of you. This is what I'm getting. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. Mm. So crazy. If you want to watch that movie, it's on Netflix, you guys. I love his action movies. His action movies are so bomb. But let's see. Just want to take this off. I want to see his, um, this, her, his energy. Solo right so taking away your energy i don't want to see this person's energy all to itself holy spirit what's this person's energy that's coming in for scorpio this person's energy that's coming through for scorpio what is this person thinking towards scorpio when it comes to this relationship what do they feel when it comes towards Scorpio. Okay, so wow, you guys have differences, religious factors here. This is what I'm seeing. This could be a complication. But I feel like if you respect each other, I just feel like it could work on a spiritual level. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I'm seeing retreat. So they're planning a retreat or getting closer to you or trying to um, have a conversation with you and them, not with other people, which is the five of wands that we saw. Like there was other people that are trying to come in and trying to wreck this foundation or trying to kick you out. You know, I'm just seeing like them trying to kick you out. There's a lot of competition energy okay like there's a lot of jealousy as well this could be family like you're taking their place or you're taking their person away from them it says healing family issues <laughs> it says here your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so why am i hearing that you need to go back to your past oh gosh and make sure that your relationship with your parents are you know forgive it like whatever they have done or your sisters or your siblings may have done that you need to like release this energy and as soon as you do um there's going to be positive vibration coming into your love life hmm. okay let's see look at that past life partnership some of you could have been raised with this person or you lived on the same block or you had some kind of experience with this person in a past life and i feel like you're trying to correct certain things because right now you feel like you know this person for a long time you know it says getting to know each other <laughs> getting to know each other but yet you feel like you already know this person it says you have known each other before within this energy <laughs> but on the back of the deck it's like getting to know each other I feel like you're getting to know each other in this lifetime, but uh, well, 
but I feel like you knew this person in a past lifetime like you've been here before and that's the scary thing this person feels that way but there's also some things that needs to be healed within your past within their past when it comes to family when it comes to friends I'm also seeing the member you know this person had the devil in reverse so there's a lot of things that happened in, in their childhood as well all right so let's see here what's this person's energy okay solo please holy spirit solo energy energy what's this person solo energy towards Scorpio oh, okay so they're finally coming in with the information that is seek because the queen of want the queen of um I said wants the queen of cups where you felt insecure within this relationship within this connection so and this is what the breakup was all about you not feeling secure if you're not feeling secure you're going to feel like somebody else is involved with this person then you have the competitions as well like the other people that is trying to start a lot of conflicts on the outside and you guys already had conflicts on the inside of your relationship this is why the tower was attacked on both sides inside and outside um, there was a lot of masculine trying to control the relationship so it fell very very quickly but I'm seeing like this person has love for you um, they're saying that they loved you the first time they seen you a lot of speed energy like they're saying like everything happened very very quickly and they want to come in and they want to tell you how they truly feel here within this eight of wands this could be a call though or a text but this is a sudden change, a um, shift of energy that is going to be coming in very quick. This is ruled by Saj energy as well. For those of you who are dealing with a Saj, I'm also seeing the Ten of Cups here. So yeah, this person wants to be happy. It's like they're telling me, hey, I just want to go home, you know, where I belong within the Ten of Cups. They look at you as home, which is really wow energy. All right, the two of cups in reverse. So this is how they're seeing you. Two of cups in reverse energy. Um, mutual feelings, though. Mutual feelings between each other, but a complication. I'm also seeing the queen of wands where you feel like, you know what, you have to be smarter, wiser. Just because this person have hurt you in the past. And then I'm seeing here the queen of pentacles also in reverse here. So what is going on? Because this person is looking at you as a lot of queens in reverse. I wouldn't be concerned if one was in reverse, but all the queens from the queen of cups to the queen of pentacles for the queen of wands. The only thing that I don't see is the queen of swords. <laughs> so they're saying that you could be codependent. Very codependent. This explains the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Scorpio. Oof. That Nine of Pentacles energy. It's like the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to be de dependable on yourself. You need to be independent. And you, from you coming out of that particular energy, being given your purpose and being given your you know the blessing the abundance within the ace of pentacles like the holy spirit have given this to you so you could come out of codependency so you could come out of you know being dependable on other people and you gave these people that energy back it's like the divine god has given you the power back and you're giving it away constantly and so you're appearing very codependent from the queen of cups emotionally you feel like you're not getting what you need from this energy a lot of you could be very sensitive because the queen of cups is ruled by cancer energy so there's a lot of tears here a lot of crying all the time and then you have the 
the Queen of Wands, which is ruled by Aries. A lot of stubbornness, aggressiveness, lack of creativity. <laughs> Your confidence are just it's just going down. This is what I'm seeing here. But then you have the Queen of Pentacles. It's like I'm just seeing like you're protecting yourself over and over. Not feeling the in the security of the relationship. You know, being aggressive, making sure that this person is on the same page with you. And then also protecting your mental state because it's being affected. I mean, as well, within those queens in reverse. But at the same time, your energy is so on this person and nothing else. And that's crazy. It's like the universe is trying to make you be very independent, not, you know, spending your time wasting it on something that is not going to change right now. I'm also seeing that the Eight of Cups energy making a decision to you know walk away from something because you just feel like it's you're better off you're this person is better off you're better off um but in a way where there's no closure there's in a way there is no <sighs> clarity you know it's like feeling like there's an abandonment situation here and because of this i feel like this person have done this to you scorpios where they abandon you here without explaining just walking away leaving you behind <laughs> and this was very sudden and they didn't seem like they were looking back but i'm seeing that they're coming in now so you're going to be like shocked this is what i'm seeing here like you're going to be shocked to see that this person is returning the Eight of Pentacles, and then you have the High Priestess. High Priestess is in the upright, so... High Priestess is in the upright. It's so crazy how the High Priestess came in reverse with the new read, where you're trying to find out the truth. This person is looking at you very strong, so don't they don't have any idea. <laughs> they don't have any idea that this is happening. I feel like they're trying to impress you as well, so they do have this opening of trying to change certain things within their energy and your energy it was like this person is going to remain the same and this is why it's going to fail this is why this relationship is going to fail you're already experiencing a lot of um situation when it comes to the four of pentacles like why is this person trying to control the time trying to control the relationship trying to control everything that you guys do and when you do it like you feel like there's something going on within this person's energy within the four of pentacles but this is a no contact and it's like something that you accepted because this person is proceeding to do this and i'm also seeing the ace of cups like this is about love this is also about loss like it's like you're supposed to experience so much things with this person and you know it's happening like that that lesson but i'm also seeing like at the end of it all there's like a loss like putting in so much effort putting in so much work and then you guys fall so this is a cycle this is not something that happened just one time you and this person been through it a couple times yeah, this is a cycle within the Wheel of Fortune being here. This bad Jojo, bad luck between you and this person. Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Major Arcana. I'm also seeing lies here. You know, it's crazy how they're thinking that their lies are concealed and they would never go anywhere. So there's more to, to more to like, you know, to reveal in this situation. This is what I'm seeing here more to reveal and then i'm seeing the page of swords then you have the hermit in reverse you also have the knight of pentacles this person looks at you as a knight of pentacles so be very careful 
they look at you as an independence they look at you as the money they look at you as the logical person and this is what i feared because i saw that you were giving away money and the high for on so this could be a relationship that's ending there's also some kind of like codependency as well within the decision that is made to kind of end this relationship um like this person that's coming through is just looking like they're not strong enough to make this decision to keep this relationship going uh taurus energy very stubborn and within this energy this person really thinks that they have everything like they're not codependent like no one can tell them different like they're just looking like they got everything you know solid here like they're making all their own decisions hmm But be careful with your finances, your fruit of your labor. Like you have worked so hard to get here. And I'm just seeing like you're throwing it away. And you don't need to. It's like this person is telling you to leave or telling you that they don't want to be here. Believe them. Because I'm seeing like they're like really low in your vibration and your spirituality as well and your beliefs. <sighs> you know, making you feel like you're not what they're looking for or they don't need your help or you can't do anything to to help them somehow or you don't understand the situation i just feel like they're talking to other people they're gossiping with other people within the page of swords here and also telling a lot of lies you know within this energy telling a lot of lies within this energy Hmm. Interesting. So we're going to get some clarifications. Come on, you guys. I think I left something on the fire. <laughs> Why did I think that there was something on the fire? There's kids playing outside. I thought it was my teapot. But it's not my teapot. It's the kids outside. All right, so let's just get this clarified from this person's perspective. All right, we're going to start with the Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups in reverse? Okay, because they're saying that you feel very insecure. The Two of Pentacles, wow, because they cheated once before. <sighs> they played games once before in the past. They juggled. They got all caught up. Tell me more. The judgment in reverse. Uh, I feel like because you took this person back. So there weren't any kind of lesson yet. I feel like the Holy Spirit is like, okay, whatever you decide to do, it you know, we're not going to teach this person until you're not involved with this person because they don't want you to feel the hardship that they're trying to teach this person. It has nothing to do with you. Well, it does, but at the same time, it's not your karmic lesson to to learn. You understand? It's like they need to see and understand how you felt within that moment. So that's Aries and Libra. Tell me more. And I'm just seeing like they pushed you away because it's crazy how you have the four of cups here in reverse. Like they feel like you have moved on, but I don't think that you have. No, I feel like this is all in this person's head as well. How they're perceiving you. All right, so tell me about this Queen of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. So there's a lot of hardship here, and you're kind of like cutting this person off on any financial situation. It's like they're saying that you changed within this energy, but at the same time, this doesn't make any sense because you have given 
so much money away and invested in this person so i guess with this energy here it's like you have woken up now spiritually and you have you're trying to protect your family yourself and you're just like being very careful you're just not going to serve this person like you used to because it's taking a toll on you emotionally financially look at this we have the five of cups and we also have the page of pentacles like this person is just not giving you anything back are they and you're giving your heart away it's like your heart is on your sleeves and it's like you're you're finally accepting for what this person is um this is how they're looking at it like you're just like okay accepting the situation for what it is <laughs> this person is accepting their situation that they're just you know having money issues or things are just not working off or taking off fast enough like they thought it was i feel like you were invested in this person's dream and thought that this dr person's dream was going to be your dream but that's not what happened okay tell me about this more we have the hermit so i'm just seeing like there's a back away is this funny how the five is showing up as the hermit energy looking like the hermit energy here it's like basically you're by yourself you're isolated um but again in the five of cups i just don't feel like this is it this is why this energy is coming back up scorpios because this is not yet done i'm also seeing the hermit energy it's just trying to make sure that they're making the right decision here i just feel like they're backing away from this or backed away from this because they're trying to find themselves so this person is doing a lot of soul searching as well the two of cups they look at you as the two of cups but in reverse tell me about this two of cups energy cards are flipping let's see this one wow this person still wants this to work 11 11 aries energy they want this to work they want this fulfillment with you they want this future with you this future vibe with you tell me about the the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles so you have the king of wands energy queen of pentacles queen of wands <sighs> this is crazy what is this i think this was the um hold on here queen of wands queen of cups queen of pentacles oh here it is it's like this person is very coming off very difficult for you to handle it's like you are okay all right so you're cutting off this person with love you're cutting off this person well with you know nurturing or just being there or being patient with them that's gone i'm also seeing that there's talking about a cutting off of energy of money <laughs> of you know security like you're just not including this person in your plans anymore because they're just coming off as someone that is quite immature stubborn follower <laughs> and i'm also seeing the cycle here within the wheel of fortune in reverse like it's just been bad luck bad vibes with this energy like you just feel like since forever you know like you and this person has been just going through a lot of bad vibes together tell me about the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles energy seven of pentacles energy while wow, the lovers in reverse so this is a third party again situation so you invested in this person and this person cheated on you this person invested in things in other places within the lovers but you're the two of cups over here where they want a future with tell me about this lovers this lovers is also shown up in reverse so this happened very quickly they didn't think about this they just was like flowing in experience this was a new beginning so <laughs> this is someone that 
I just feel like after the fact, because this is a no contact, so it seems like this person cheated on you, you broke up with them, and then they went with the lovers anyway. The lovers didn't work out either. They just didn't think. Okay, this is a completion within the lovers as well. There's a completion there. Okay, so that's coming to an end. Whatever they needed to learn, they learned. Tell me more. But I feel like within this information, you're not going to receive it because this person is hiding this information because they're afraid. Afraid of what you, how you might look, what you might think. Tell me more. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're looking at this as the sun. It's like they're choosing themselves, their happiness, their bliss. They're choosing their youth. What made them happy? Tell me more. Within the 19. It's like, <laughs> wow. They're Listen to me. Listen to me. Because this person is definitely not going to tell you the truth about this lover's this is what makes them happy within the sun because they don't want to lose you. They're going to lie. That's what they're saying. They're going to lie to you <laughs> because they don't want to lose you because they know it's a wrap, you know, because they put a lot of things in your head. You are the empress, for goodness sake, and you turned into a masculine overnight. Well, it wasn't overnight, but you know. And what did I think my nails just flew off? Um, like I'm just seeing like you just got strong quick I was worried about you the wheel of fortune is in reverse twice okay in both decks twice the wheel of fortune is in reverse so bad Jojo bad, bad beans like you can't seem to get over to the next level of the situation Okay, tell me about the high priest, not the high priestess, the high ferrant in reverse, the stubborn energy <laughs> that is stuck into their beliefs. And it's crazy because you have the high ferrant and then you have religious factors here. <laughs> oh my gosh. High ferrant is definitely an old fashioned energy that's stuck into their own beliefs. It's very, it's just a small um, pathway to accept anything else. It's like believing in science and that's all you believe in. It's like you don't believe in anything else until science has proven that situation. Um, it's like there is no faith, you know, within science, <laughs> okay? And the same thing within the high front in reverse. So this is what I'm seeing. Tell me about the high front. Well, this person is a manipulator too. Determined manipulator. And I feel like it's because of how they were raised as well. I'm going to take it. So I'm seeing Aries energy, Taurus energy, Major Arcana. Hmm. this person is not very disciplined they lack discipline and they're very stubborn and controlling so defeated energy within the high for the, the emperor energy codependency within the high for <laughs> whatever decision this person made was because of other people and what they believed in with those other people and they made a decision when it comes to this relationship whether it's a marriage or a partnership all right they were very codependent and i'm seeing like you are meant to be independent you need to start seeing yourself for what you are because this person is like you are independent you're the answer to money you're the answer to you know everything moving along as well because they're coming up to you really quickly to impress you like they have business moves <laughs> but you are the check you are the check or the good credit all right so you need to be careful you need to be careful all right tell me more about this hermit okay so we have the knight of cups 
in reverse. <clears throat> It's like I'm seeing like this person wants a second chance, but they can't ask you for it because they're scared. Very prideful energy within the King, the Knight of Cups energy. It's like, it's like they caused you so much pain. They caused you so much confusion. And this person is also jealous too. And I'm seeing like, again, you're not speaking to this person because they're saying that there's no communication here confirmed, especially since they pushed your way on a spiritual level. Like they're trying to like really mess up your spiritual beliefs and what you believe in. So if you are spiritually awakened like I am and this person is like, oh, this is bull that I don't believe in that. I don't believe in, you know, protecting yourself with these stupid bracelets, you know, like stuff like that, because it's in that witchcraft like they really make you feel like you're doing something wrong and they believe in nothing nothing so and they're trying to keep you to that like they're trying to bring you back back into 2d 3d reality <laughs> okay and you are at 5d level you are so like awake spiritually and this person is trying to bring you back so this is not good and it's the, all because they're jealous of you they're jealous of who you are who you, you know how you believe in yourself <sighs> being very dramatic they probably share your beliefs with other people and you know it's like there is a joke thing like they're laughing at this behind your back but this is not affecting you i'm seeing them talking to other people here and telling lies too adding stuff on to what you do or what you believe and messing up your reputation okay <laughs> tell me about this wheel of fortune wheel of fortune energy the moon <laughs> if you don't feel safe it's time for you to distance yourself there this is no time to be hanging around with people that you just don't feel safe with all right life is just way too short and fragile you know like you have to protect your your body since you don't have a whole bunch of bodies in the closet that you can activate at any time you know you only have one <laughs> as of now until future energies but until future you know developments but for now you have this one body that you have to protect so if you feel like your environment is off and your mind is playing tricks on you and your intuition is going off you need to trust within your heart because this energy around you is pretty negative within the wheel of fortune in reverse okay It's like this person doesn't want to take, like doesn't want to embrace changes. Like whatever they believe, you need to believe. And that's not the way of life. <laughs> Sorry. That's not the way of life. All right, so. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going on. All right. relax it says step back trust guides step back it's like your angel guys are really pissed it's like take yo step back trust guides like they really tell you like yo let me take the wheel <laughs> yo these angels are funny okay it says flow and again look at that flow with the situation trust surrender just you know be here be here in the present moment don't worry about the future and the past basically just live and they're taking care of everything else okay there's a codependency it says clinging here holding on to your love won't let go wow it's funny how it says holding on to your love so someone is definitely not over you because it says holding on to your love won't let go 
Oof, all right. Secret admirer, I have a crush on you, watching you. So this person's feelings are getting stronger. They don't know what to do with it. That's what I'm feeling. They don't know what to call this. They don't know what to do with it. I don't feel like this person ever been in love before or ever liked someone this much. I'm seeing unexpected growth and transformation here. Surprise, surprise, news is coming in. All right. And you're going to be shocked about this. I feel like I feel like this is going to help you to move on to do what you need to do. I'm also seeing loyal here, like you have been loyal to this person. Some of you have been mirroring this energy. So this could have been your twin flame vibration. Because if you see doves and they do that dance, it's basically doing the dance, <laughs> devoting themselves to each other here. So this is going to be hard for you to exit. It says loyal by nature, honesty, passion for you. Ooh, it's like I'm just seeing that this person is like someone is pushing them to tell you the truth or something, a higher power. But they don't want to lose you. I'm also seeing solitude. I'm seeing Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. A lot of you might be dealing with this particular energy for this to be coming out here too. Ooh, something flipped. I'm, what is this? apology interesting okay it says i'm sorry forgive me i miss i miss us so wow interesting let's see one more this is a waiting game divine timing confirmed angel Raphael. okay this is complicated it's like you have to make a decision, but you don't know how or when or, you know, where. Confusion, not seen clearly. Uh, rose color glasses. Mm. All right, let's see why this is happening. Let's see. Let's see why this is taking place. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Angel Guides, Ancestors. Thank you for being here with Scorpios. You know what, Scorpios? When I pull your card, I notice something. Most of the time, I always be seeing like release, release with you. Like you need to really release control. It's like you have two, two energy. That is saying to flow and to trust and to surrender and to relax. Take a step back and trust within guides energy. Trust your guides. Like your guides don't you don't listen, you don't have to do nothing. Like they're doing all the work for you, but you have to trust. This person is always already clinging to you. If you want them. <laughs> this person's energy is getting stronger and stronger. They're not gonna go anywhere. So they have a lot of things that they need to work out. They have to find themselves. Tell me more. Oh, something flipped here. What is it? What is it? Don't tell me. Oh, my gosh. Assassination. <laughs> this is just coming out. There's good cards in this deck, I promise you. But for some reason, like when I pull, there's just some kind of deep stuff going on here. Like, how far does this go? How far does this love go? With recklessness. It's like if I can't have you, no one will. Like I gave you everything, okay? I gave you everything. If I'm done with you, I'm taking everything back. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna release you out in the wild like I received you. <laughs> Yo. That's what I'm hearing. Like you know. I'm going to release you like I received you. What else? Something almost flipped over, but let's see. Wow, a fear. But I'm seeing the third party in separation. But you're saying like this happened, this whole energy shift when this person had an affair. And this wasn't just a hookup. This was a relationship that was that was 
that's what hurt most that it was consistent um it wasn't just a sleeping together there's also abuse here within this relationship that you have to heal from tell me more and i felt like you tried to leave before but it's just you couldn't clear your mind you couldn't figure this out. It's like I'm seeing like the hermit energy, but a lot of you couldn't figure this out. Like you had a decision to make and you know you did, but you just couldn't make that decision. You couldn't bring yourself to make that decision. Um, so that traveling energy, I'm hearing that it came to an end. I'm also seeing dark thoughts. I'm seeing depression, anxiety. I'm seeing suicide thoughts as well. I'm seeing suicide attempts. Listen, y'all. This is crazy. This is what's coming up. This is what happens when Angel Raphael is saying to you, take a step back. Divine timing is at play here. Divine timing doesn't just mean like something is going to take place. Like, yeah, it's going to happen. I just want you to know to be clear like divine time and it's not saying that this person is going to be yours like you're going to end up with this person they're they're saying that everything is where it needs to be right now for this person to go into healing for you to take healing for you to choose yourself um and it wouldn't happen any other way and you need to trust the process within the holy spirit that's it and it's all about self-awareness self-love and take a step back when i became awake everything made so much sense and i would not even go back to my past but thank you for my past but i would not go back to that girl in the past so if you feel like you can still go back to the past yourself then you haven't grown so you need to start growing and if you feel like how you need help with how to grow you have to sit back you have to sit in a sleep position in a sin position and start to meditate and ask your guides to help you that's the way to you could also pray to them and stuff but to connect to them on an emotional scale and for them to really like be like totally connected to you on every level so all your chakras can go off at the same time is in that position because this shouldn't even be a thought i mean you're basically saying you want to check out check out of this life because of this relationship that is just not meant for you that is making you think craziness all right everybody around you knew that this was going to happen like this person wasn't for you this relationship is full of jealousy you're jealous of the third party the third party is jealous of you this person is jealous of your your personality who you are trying to lower your vibration so you can accept this lifestyle because it's not going to change i'm seeing mountains of mountains of trials and tribulations that you have went through with this person's energy and nothing have changed everything that you have done for this person all the hardship that you have intaked with this person and nothing have changed tell me more holy spirit i'm seeing a lot of you are taking legal action i don't know why this keeps coming up out of 78 cards but somebody is taking legal actions this i don't know a lot of people getting divorced or you know going to court because this is a little bit too much. <sighs> like this was about to happen. Your friends, your family is saying like everything was, they were just like, when? When is this going to take place? Like everything was boiling up, boiling up to this disaster. I'm also seeing a beautiful kid involved with this situation. For those of you, or a lot of you are finding out that you're pregnant but you feel like you can't even handle this. Like you don't, you're not a place, you're not at a place to be a father 
or you're not at a place to be a mother because you just feel like you are ensembled, like you are in pieces, like you're dismembered, member, dismemberment, <laughs> like you are just parts, like every you're just all over the place. Like this person was also casting spells or black magic or trying to make you feel this way or keep you trapped or bound. You know what I'm getting with your, your baby? I'm getting that your child is your an angel. Like it came into this world to protect you from people like this. But you're not going to really see this until this child becomes more like, you know, able to make you feel safe. I'm seeing like 13 and up, especially when they're 18, when they start working and stuff, it's definitely going to be like they're the person of the house. That might be okay with you, but it's like they're the parent, so be prepared for that. <laughs> Listen, okay, they're acting like they're the parent, okay? But I feel like it's morally like best friends. But, you know, um, within this energy, just be careful and make sure you do let this person know that, you know, the soul knows that you're the parent. Because I'm just seeing like beyond, smarter than beyond their years, you know. Um, this is an older soul coming in a younger body. I just feel like it's something to do with a family member that you have not met. Um, but it's nothing, it's not like your great, great grandfather or anything like that. I just feel like it's, it's back within the family line that this person lived a lot of lives and felt like they have been watching over you for so long on the other side that they just want to be a part of your life within this, with this realm because you're having such a hard time. I don't know who this is for, but I'm just seeing this child being something that's very special to you. I keep getting this, you know, it's a cute little baby, but I'm just seeing like really powerful energy coming into your life for protection. Like they're protecting you. Um, very smart child. Very, very smart. Their words, they're going to talk very early. This is what I'm seeing. Walk very early. Stop breastfeeding very early. <laughs> they're going to start growing teeth as soon as they come out. This is what I'm seeing like like probably three weeks old and they have their first teeth already i know i'm just saying okay but this person this soul right here is giving me old vibes but this is what i have scorpio for the no contact read let me just um tap into how this person feels for you and then we're gonna close real quick because there's a lot of different energies that are coming up, especially the third party situation within the lovers being here. This person is saying, hey, I jumped into it very quick. This is what I'm getting. They didn't think about it. They didn't do their research. It was all about the experience. All about the experience and how that person is going to let them feel at that moment. And it was exciting because there was no responsibilities but <laughs> you know it just messed up everything so let's just see what the energy is thank you holy spirit what is the energy from this person towards scorpio what's their feelings towards scorpio What's their romantic feelings towards Scorpio? Ooh. Let me do that again. Romantic feelings towards Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Wow, they still want to lie. One more. Let's see what that is. Oh, my. All right, so you have the strength in reverse. Angel Michael showing up here. Again, you know, this person needs to, like, get it together. All right? This is what I'm seeing. Like, cross watchers, come on. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, like, I'm just seeing, like, this person needs to have the courage and have the faith and the confidence within themselves. 
because they need to fix this situation. I'm seeing like they're trying to impress you with some kind of things better in their craft, better in their skills, better in themselves, right? They're trying to appear this way, but I'm seeing lies here, unfairity, you know, being unjust, not to being told the truth, not being chosen, not nothing being balanced out here, making a decision to kind of work on this marriage or this relationship and really finally taking it serious within the five, which is the hyphron. Remember, we saw codependency on this. And now here they are in this moment as they're thinking about you. So they're going back and forth with this energy. That's what that means. They're going back and forth within that energy. And I'm also seeing the ten of pentacles here. Like a huge loss. It's like I'm just seeing like, <sighs> like you're going your way, they're going their way. Or they're trying to fix something. They're making a decision to fix this broken ass relationship. <laughs> Sorry to curse you guys. But that's how it came out, okay? Like they're making a decision to fix this broken home. But let's just see. Let's just confirm this. Because I feel like with Angel Michael being on the, the back here, they're going to have to really get themselves together and do this so tell me about this ten of pentacles we have the death <laughs> it's not gonna work that's what i i just wanted to verify it's not gonna work because i'm seeing scorpio that you're going to be moving along within the number 13 which is your number okay and saying adios amigos okay to this person within scorpio Adios amigos. You need time to heal. You need time to reflect. You need time to love yourself again. So this is what I have, you guys. All the information for personal reading will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Make sure that you know you guys hit that thumbs up video, that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel to grow, help your videos to be successful on the YT. And I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.